Good morning, everyone. How you doing? We have a Toyota Camry. The Camry is getting this guy right here. 394 Kenwood Exelon video head unit, along with a Pioneer GMD 9605 five channel amplifier. Let's take a look in the trunk real quick. So in the trunk we have this pocket here. So what we're planning on doing is we're gonna go ahead and take that out. We're gonna make a ABS mount to mount the amplifier. So it'll look something like this. All the wires will be able to run into the car through that little pocket down below there. So that's the plan for the amplifier. Now they're not getting any speakers in the car. It's just five channel amp, new radio, subs in the trunk. I don't know which box is getting in yet. I'm guessing probably the Kicker 212 box would be my guess. It's one of Paul's favorites. So what we have to do right now is we have to go ahead and get the interior apart, at least this driver's side here where everything's gonna run, get the radio out of the dash, and just start killing it. So let's get going. It's nothing like pulling out the back seat of a car and finding the kid's toy box underneath the back seat. Look at all that. That's crazy. We got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle right there. I think you'll be fine. From the back? Yeah, okay. from the back. All right, so we have the wires that we need for the amplifiers all good to go. We just need to screw them into the amplifier. We're working on the harness right now. Well, we've gone ahead and separated out all the wires that are not gonna be attached to the factory harness, which is the like, speaker wires, steering wheel controls, because even though she has them, she's not adding them. And then a mute wire that's on here. On this harness, we're going to separate out the speaker wires all by themselves, because those are gonna go off to the amplifier. But what we have is the standard power colors here. But before we get to pretty in this part of it up, anytime you're you're adding an amplifier for the highs, door speakers, call them whatever you want, the littler speakers, you need to make sure that there's no amplifier in the car because more and more cars are coming with amplifiers. What we're gonna do is take both the harnesses, we're gonna take a nine volt and we're gonna take a tone generator and we're gonna go into the car and make sure that there's no amplifier between the radio and the speaker. So let's go into the car. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and plug in our plug. Now when we do this, we wanna make sure that we keep this yellow wire, which is constant 12 volts, away from any metal. And we'll go ahead and plug in our rear harness. Dude, the reason why we picked up a nine volt as well as the tone generator is because not everyone has a tone generator, but most of you guys have a nine volt. And a nine volt will work for what we're trying to do. What we wanna do is just pop these speakers and make sure we get sound out of them. Now, the reason why I brought the front and rear harnesses is because in some vehicles, very few, but some have an amplifier just for the rear speakers. So we wanna test those. All right, so those work too. Now, if you had a tone generator, you could do the same thing. Pretty cool. All right, back to the workbench. All right, so now what we wanna do is go ahead and solder this guy up. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and added in the remote turn on for the amplifier. I've made it extra long because I'm going to separate it out with the speaker wires. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. All 
right, so here's the harness. Here's what we've gone ahead and done. In the harness is all eight speaker wires and the remote turn on. So what we did is we looped it through to out to here, plugs right into the car. Remember, no one's ever gonna see this, but just knowing that this is in the dash looking the way it does, I'll sleep better at night and so will you. All right, so Fernando's got the amplifier. He's got the wire that we had sitting here. He's getting that wired up as you can see now. The only thing left that I need to get done is the Bluetooth mic and the fuse holder. Fernando's got the amp in and mounted. For this, we went ahead and used half inch central so that it'd be nice and rigid standing up like this. We have our 12 gauge subwoofer. He's stripping the ends. This is the enclosure we're putting in, this guy right here. And yeah, it's a set of comp 12s. So the only thing left to do is get this wire here up into the dash. So we have it insulated all the way up to this point here. We just need to figure out if we're going across this way up and over or if we're going up this way and over. Base now, I'm sure will be up in here somewhere, but the signal RCA and the speed wire needs to get into the dash. This radio has a factory aux adapter in it in this center console here. That's this guy right here. And of course the radio has an aux jack on the back and we want to retain that. So Fernando's made up this cool little tool here that is, is an aux jack. It plugs in and it has three little ends on it. And what we do with that is connect it to the digital multimeter on continuity so that it makes this cool noise here. We can clip one in onto our probe. Now we can come over here and grab our harness and meter which one is attached to that wire. Down here we have a green, white, black, and red. So we want to try to find that. We have a green, white, black, and red here. Now we'll go ahead and probe these. And what we're getting is a tone on the white. We're gonna go ahead and remove this tape. Now we always use the same aux cable, so that's why we were able to make our adapter. What we've done is we've taken a three foot aux cable and cut it in half. Now what you can do is strip both ends so that you have wires that look like this, plug one end into your aux jack, wrap it around the probe, and essentially do the same thing. So now we know this white wire, we're attached over here to the red wire. We'll go ahead and strip this guy back. We'll take our red lead. What we're doing is we're poking a hole in this white wire here. We're gonna thread it like a needle pitch it closed and now we'll just wrap it around. Now we're going to solder it when we're done but until then this will at least hold and we won't have to worry about it accidentally falling off or anything like that. This is also a really good connection in itself. If you don't want to solder this would definitely be the way you'd want to do it. Alright so we'll go ahead and attach our next which is black which is his white. Go ahead and clip that on. So now we'll go ahead and attach our next wire in line. Come back over here. Alright. So the red wire is now chiming, and that is corresponding to our white wire on our harness. And we'll move on to our last wire. That means the black wire here is going to go to our yellow wire. Now we're wrapping these wires with the high temp Tessa tape. Make sure when you're wrapping the tape on it, you pull it as, as tight as possible. You don't want it to uh, come off. Unravel. Now we'll just take some of the regular test of tape. We'll go ahead and go over it with a second layer so it'll be nice and covered and we won't have to worry about anything coming off. When we get to the end, like when you're done wrapping it, go ahead and wrap one extra because this tape does stick better to itself than it does the wire. All right, so now we have our aux jack. All right, the fuse holder's in and mounted. For this install, we're using the BK-TOYK983S. This is a Best Kits by Pack. The cool thing about this kit is it is silver to match the factory silver. Now on the factory radio, what we really just need to get off is the air conditioning.
this kit has like a, a locking keyhole style, so it kind of goes in and then it'll slide over in place so that it's it's all nice and attached. Break off little tabbies for the pocket. And then we also want to remove these pieces here. The things that would normally lock into a kit that this doesn't have, we want to go ahead and remove these. What you end up with is this flat edge as opposed to that. So with this kit, what you want to do is get these top two screws in really loose. Just, just get them in there so that they're like one or two threads on so that the radio is still fully adjustable. Because what you have to do is you have to, because this, this piece isn't really, it's not attached to the radio. Get these lined up so that it, it all goes in tight. So now what you want to do is, is slide this down in place as gently as possible because what you don't want to do is bend this up so that once it gets in the dash it's crooked just kind of work it down gently and then go ahead and tighten up these screws all right we're good all right so we we ended up coming underneath the seat here we had to pull the seat out so we could come this way and up into the console we were a little short on the speed wire because it was the end of the roll but we ended up with just enough now we're going to go ahead and plug the harness in get the radio plugged in i have to notch this here so we have room for the usb to come through Right, guys this one is done not a lot of tuning in this as far as that goes uh, it's still factory speakers this is phase one of this this went pretty well on to the next one <laughs> 